Homebrew Brewery. Hello Brewtubers and thanks for tuning in again on Home Beer Brew's channel. This is a quick update. Today it's actually a brew day. I'm currently at the mash. Going to brew a very simple IPA. Very light in uh, IBUs, 55. So uh, I use some leftover hops and three types of uh, malts. Here I have my uh, sparge water ready, 17 liters at uh, 78 degrees Celsius. And the Braumeister is currently at the pump break. You can see beautiful wort, 55 liters. If you would like to uh, know the exact recipe, I can put it in the more info section. Guys, I upgraded something about the Braumeister. Here you have it. It's a high grade stainless steel ball valve with a cam lock fitting on it. It works perfectly because I bought myself a stainless steel magnet pump to pump the wort into the conical fermenter. As some of you guys know, I have some extension legs on my conical fermenter, so I can use gravity to put it in the fermenter, from out the Braumeister into the fermenter. So I need a pump. Well, previous video on this channel was about uh, the sip, sanitizing the fermenter. Before I'm going to put the wort in, I will sanitize it again. This ferment is fully upgraded. You can see the FTSS lid is on it with the cooling uh, hoses on it. The spirals with the extension coils are inside. I will show you a picture how it looks. Awesome video. This is not original. I punched a hole of 41 millimeters out and attach the welders um, TC fitting on it, one and a half inch TC fitting to fit my sip spray ball in. And this goes into my. Uh, it's connected to my pump. Well, I'm very looking forward using the Braumeister. Uh, I have to say the fermenter for the very first time with the side glass and the FTSS system. Yesterday I did a test run with the FTSS temperature control system and it worked flawless. It heats pretty up very fast and it cools down very fast. So I'm very happy with the cheap purchase that I did with the big discount that I had on the products. Yeah, I'm looking forward to hot summers so I can chill the batch down to the desired temperature. This is also not original. I printed some uh, cubes to hide the connections between the extension legs. And of course my uh, FTSS temperature control holder that I also printed. Uh, yeah, what can I say? I'm very looking forward to a relaxed brew day. I'm not going to make a complete video about this one. Uh, there's one video in the make, brewing the dark strong ale. It's more than 10%. I already bottled it and I'm very happy with that result as well. The brewing process needs my attention. It's almost ready to sparge. It's heating up to 78 degrees Celsius and the mesh will uh, the mesh duration will be about three minutes. Guys, quick update. Yeah, nothing more to say. I didn't mention that I made a container. 
the magnet pump uh, is attached to some um, CC clamps or uh, camera fittings, I have to say. It works perfect. But I made a container to easily clean and sanitize the pump. Just a simple container, plastic, it has um, a valve on it that I already had laying around. When I fill this with a sanitizer or a cleaning solution, the pump will automatically prime. And when I switch it on, it will pump right into the container again and it will circulate. A very easy process and a very easy product, but it works for me. I already tested it and yeah, what can I say more? This is the long thermal well that needs to be normally fit into the FTSS lid. But I, as I mentioned earlier, I punched the hole out of 41 millimeters for uh, this uh, welder's connection. By that way, the hole of the thermal well is uh, gone. So I'm using a small thermal well, what's on the inside the bowl of the fermenter. Work fine too, because the coils are on this level as well. I think this uh, will work very nicely. Side glass. Can't wait to see the fermentation going on at the, uh, on the glass, guys. Well, maybe I'm rambling. I'm uh, just going to prepare for the spart. We'll uh, speak each other very soon in uh, other videos. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye bye.